Hi everybody. So this video is going to show you how to connect to UCR's private network from off campus. This is to make sure that you have access to all of the materials that your instructor posts for your online class, even though you're not on campus. So if you're having difficulty accessing, for example, a journal article that's part of your reading for the course, um, try connecting from off campus. That will probably help. So what I like to do when I'm trying to figure out something new is I always go to Google and I just Google what I'm looking for. So I looked up UCR Connect Off Campus and I got this first link, Connect from Off Campus, sponsored by the UCR Library. So I clicked on that, which took me to this web page that um, tells me I should follow these instructions to install the software I need to access uh, the VPN or the network from off campus. So if I click this link, follow these instructions, it takes me to this page. Uh, which has instructions on how to install the global protect uh, piece of software that will help me access the virtual private network or the VPN. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down um, to this link here, the global protect portal. So I click this, which opens a new tab that I need to log into using my UCR uh, net ID credentials. It then asks me to do the multi-factor authentication uh, that we've had to do uh, since the earlier this year. So I actually have to go on my second device to Duo and I need it to give me a new code that I can type in here. So it's a little bit different from what people might normally do where you just push, push a button and it allows access. For this one, you need to get a code that you can enter in on your phone. So to do that, go to the Duo app uh, click UC Riverside so you see a six digit code. If there isn't one there, you can hit the little uh, circular arrow button on the right to get a new code generated. So it should be again six numbers. So you type it in, hit enter, and then if it's successful, it will take you to this page where you can now download the client um, to install the software depending on what computer you have. So I have a Windows PC 64 bit, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and download. It's going to download for me here uh, and then I'm going to click on it so that I can install the client on my computer. Um, just install it anywhere, uh, give it permission to do so, and then it will install. And there we go. It's successfully installed so I can close that out. So now uh, this window will pop up automatically from Global Protect that I need to log into. So you need to enter your portal address, which we can get back from this page. So you scroll down um until you find the uh, network you need to type in which is right here so it's campusvpn.ucr.edu so um, i need to type that into the global protect client which you can now see has gone away but don't panic if that happens to you you can just go to your start menu and click on the program in the start menu uh, either global protect like i did um, at the top or it's also possibly listed under Apollo Alto Networks, which is the creator of the software. So click that and go to Global Protect. That will also bring up the window. So now you need to enter the address that campusvpn.ucr.edu, hit connect, and then it will ask you to log in again with your UCR credentials, uh, net ID and password. Um, and I apparently typed it wrong which happens sometimes. So you type that in and then it will again ask you to do the multi-factor authentication thing. So pick up your other device again, hit that refresh button, the two arrows to get a new code, um, a new six digit code, and then type that into the window um, so you can get the multi-factor authentication happening. And then everything goes away. So it looks like you're not really sure what happened. So to double check that, you should go back, click on Global Protect to bring that window back up. And if you, it has successfully worked, it should say connected. So you now you can access all of the information that UCR uh, has special privileges to access. So you can do all of that stuff online. And then when you're ready to go um, disconnect, you can just hit this disconnect button. Okay and then you can just click off of it. And now you're back on your regular network. Um, for ease of access, if you're using a PC at least, I recommend uh, pinning this to your taskbar. So you would go ahead and take that little icon um, and just drag and drop it right onto your taskbar right here. Or, whoops, didn't work that time. So just uh, go ahead and drag, oh, 
think I need to do it under the Palo Alto network, so just right here. Nope. Let me try one more time. There we go. Took a few times to do it, but uh, there you have it. So you can have a quick access link down here. So all you have to do is just click it and then hit connect and it actually saves your credentials. So um, you don't actually have to type in your information next time. It just automatically connects. Uh, so that's it for the tutorial on using Global Protect. I have a second video about using UCR's old VPN access software. Uh, if that is of interest to you, but be aware that it will stop working on May 1st. Um, so you will eventually have to switch over to this one to Global Protect. So um, I hope this was helpful. Good luck, everybody.